Okay, this is uh, part three of the uh, Dirty Donnie van and uh, fantasy van. And I'm going ahead, I was going to make this my final video, but I'm going to go ahead and do it at this step just to kind of show you a few things. And uh, because I'm still, I'm, I'm down to the final assembly, the last few pieces on the, the van. And, and uh, I've got a few parts laying here, but I was going to show you this just because. Um, first thing is um, right now you can see everything uh, you can see the engine and I didn't do um, I didn't do plug lines so I normally do minimum plug lines and usually a few other little details but unfortunately uh, you can't see anything the only thing you're gonna see when it's done is this so uh, I've got you know the usual fan belts you know just whatever oil filters you know the few pieces you can see but unfortunately with this kit <clears throat> you're not going to see anything once it's all put together. This is the finished chassis, you know, with the uh, drive line put in. This is with my aftermarket rims and uh, different tires that do not come with the kit, but I wanted Krager deep dish wheels on it, so that's the way it went. And uh, these are uh, American Satco rear tires. These are aftermarket. They do not make these anymore, but they're really nicely done. They're Mickey Thompson. Um, that's what's printed on them anyway, and then I've got the Goodyear's real low profiles on the front. Um, the seats I did in uh, white with some flake on there. Did the candy green bases, did all my engine block and transmission in candy green. Everything else is done in Orion Silver, uh, which is a micro flake base coat. Um, and at this point, well, you can see I got a splotch I got to fix on the firewall right there. I got to touch up because what happened uh, in the instructions, they really don't tell you. There's a, there's a notch on the fender here. They don't tell you where the firewall goes in front of it or behind it. I figured uh, it went in front of it, but I was wrong and had to break it off because I did a test fit. And, of course, it didn't fit up under the hood the way it was supposed to it was sticking had a huge gap in it so I had to break that off and go back and redo it again and then do some touch-up you're still again you're not gonna see any of it I, I didn't even really I just did this flat black inside because um, you can't see the pedals of floor mats anything so pretty much I did the steering wheel uh, with a little Chevy logo did it to match my seats in white with a little bit of flake in it um, but not much and, and the engines nice it's not bad it's got some nice chrome but what's gonna happen is you have the engine hood, which I painted to match the van, and this is going to go on. And that's that's what you see. It it literally covers everything you did, so that's why I didn't really bother um, doing any plug lines or anything, because you're not going to see any of it anyway. Unfortunately, the hood doesn't open on this kit or anything. Doors don't open. Uh, I've got a Revell kit uh, coming, 70s custom van kit. It does have all that everything opens on it so and it, i'm not going to even going to cut out the roof so you can see inside it has a customized interior but this one i wanted to do uh, of course the dash has got to go on next i'm not done i am going to put some photo etch gauges in the dashboard but uh, i did paint the dash i did a gradient fade job on there and the engine hood to match the body so everything goes together and uh the dashboard will just kind of lock in there and pull it all together you know obviously it's not working till I glue the engine hood down but anyway so that's what's going on and that's why I didn't want to do that so uh, I will do a fourth and final video with everything in it but there you have it right now uh, the dirty Donny van with absolutely nothing in the back of it and then once um, this is pretty much at this step once I get the engine hood on, get the dashboard detailed up the way I want to a little bit with some gauges and um, glue that in place, then it'll be time to put the windows in the van and go ahead and, and put the body on there and uh, start adding all the body details, all the little light markers and door handles and mirrors and what have you. So we'll go from there and that'll be in my fourth and final video. So there you have it again, Johnny Van. And uh, I will see you soon with this uh, kit finished up.